Howdy gang and welcome back to Pool School. In today's short but sweet episode, I'm gonna tell you the only four things you really be, need to be testing for when you test your pool water on a weekly basis. So what do you say we jump on in? Alrighty, before we get going, I wanna thank you again for watching my video and all my videos. Remind you to like this video if you do, subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already, and please share my channel with everyone you know who owns a pool. Alrighty, so I've been receiving a lot of emails and comments about what they, you should be testing for on a weekly basis when you test your pool chemistry. There are really only four things there when you test on a weekly basis. Now, there are other things you might need to test for sporadically such as cyanuric acid, more on that later, and um, your total water hardness, more on that later as well. And then salinity, if you have a salt generator, okay? But there's really only four things, and I'm not gonna talk about the test strips or um, liquid test kits, but I'm just gonna tell you the four things that, and kind of give you a brief explanation of each, okay? The first thing, that you're going to want to test for is total chlorine. Total chlorine is the total amount of chlorine that is in your pool water. That means chlorine that is free and available to be used to fight bacteria and chlorine that is already attacking or bonded to um, bacteria and things like that. Okay, so total chlorine is number one. Number two, free chlorine. Free chlorine is also called available chlorine. That is the chlorine that's floating around your pool that is ready to go in case it needs to attack or attach itself to some bacteria or something to sanitize that water molecule, okay? So that's your free chlorine and that's the second thing. The third thing you wanna test for is pH, all right? I did a video on adjusting the pH of your pool water without affecting the alkalinity of it. So if you want to check that video out, I put a link in the description below so you can check that video out and please do. It's very short and it's simple to adjust your pH without messing with the alkalinity. Okay, so that's the third thing, pH. The fourth thing, you probably guessed it, is your alkalinity, all right? And I did a video on adjusting the alkalinity alkalinity without affecting the pH of your pool and I'll put a video link a link to that video in the description below as well but those are really the only four things you need to test for once again total chlorine free chlorine pH alkalinity okay also note that if you test for total chlorine and free chlorine if you have a salt generator it's going to register the sanitizer because it basically a salt generation generator just uses chlorine, uh, sodium or salt to convert to a sanitizer in place of chlorine. So it will register on the test strips and a test kit the same way. However, if you have a salt pool, you might want to, you're probably going to test your salinity on a monthly basis. Okay. That that's helpful because it's not going to fluctuate too much on a weekly basis. If you don't have a electronic salt tester or a test strip that tests for salinity, I suggest just take a sample into your pool uh, store and have them test the salinity, or you can pick up an electronic salt, uh, salinity tester. And I'm going to be doing a product review on that coming up in the near future. So stay tuned. Okay. And the other two things that you might test for on a semi-regular basis would be, or, or semi-regular, like semi-annual maybe, is CYA, cyanuric acid, which is stabilizer. I always test at the beginning of this swim season in case I need to add some to help the pool maintain its chlorine levels, okay? It helps it hold chlorine. And I test it when things start cooling off at the end of the pool season in case the cyanuric acid levels are way too high, then it might be time to uh, do a drain and a refill of your pool to get fresh water in there so it dilutes away all the cyanuric acid, okay? And then the other thing you might want to test for maybe twice a year is total water hardness. Um, soft water or if your water is not hard enough, it can affect the uh, the the chemistry of your pool. But if it's too hard and it's just the water source that you're using, there's really not much you can do about it. So anyway, I hope that made sense. So that's my video on the only four things you really need to be testing for on a weekly basis with a chlorine pool or a salt pool, okay? Hope it made sense. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to post them in the comments section below, or you can email me directly. My email address is gonna come across the bottom of the screen here. It is kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. I wanna thank you once again for watching. Quickly remind you, if you wanna get a hat like the one I wear, this is the Sunday Afternoons Adventure Hat, and the company is Sunday Afternoons. Their website, simple, sundayafternoons.com. This hat has a lifetime warranty on it as well. It's the second one I've had, and the first one lasted me 
over 20 years. So if you'd like to get one of those, one of these hats, I'll put a link to their website in the description below this video. So that's my video. It was short. Hopefully it was sweet. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching. I remind you to like, subscribe, and share. And until we meet again, remember my motto, have fun, be safe, and always, always, always watch those kids and elderly folk and pets around water. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.